Okay, it's been a long time since I did a few scout and report videos, but you know, life catches up with you and what have you. So here we are. I've already been on Peach's show on West Ham Random and talked about these players. If you go onto the show with Declan and Reese, the one that's around four and three quarter hours long, go on to the last hour or so to hear me talk about some of these players in a little bit more depth. I've already got my red book with me. Here's the proof my Red Scouting book with me, and I'm going to tell you about a few more players that I've looked at. Starting with one of Spain's future generational talents. It's a midfielder from Athletic Bilbao who is 21 years old, and his name is Unai Vencedor. He was born in Bilbao and grew up supporting his hometown club. He's been with Bilbao all of his life and all of his career. His surname literally translates to winner, and boy has he been a winner. He won a Supercopa de España and played in two Copa del Rey finals. In the early stages of his career, he was expected to be loaned out before he was told to stay at Bilbao just for squad depth. Being told to stay paid off though, and he eventually broke into the first team. What can I say about his style of play? From what I've seen, he's a very direct player. He attacks straight down the middle of the field. Similar to what Nikola Vlasic does. Have you noticed that Nikola Vlasic tends to run directly down the middle without weaving in and out? Vencedor kind of does the same thing, and in my opinion, that is more helpful. He's able to gain more ground quicker by going straight rather than weaving in and out, because there's always a possibility that when you turn, you can be dispossessed to a tackle. Going straight with the ball makes it harder for opponents to actually track you. Vencedor does understand this trait. He's used to playing with two central midfielders to complement his gameplay. He can initiate attacks as well as act on them. He's involved in chance creation. This doesn't mean to say that he's totally reliant on other players to help him play ball. That's definitely not the case and that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that he gets additional support with him to help his attack and to help with the movement of the ball. He's expected to be a Spanish international star alongside Pedri, who is already considered a world-class player and he's still a teenager, and also Gavi as well. Now, Vencedor has got one downside to him, and one thing that would deter West Ham from potentially signing him is that although he's got all of these fantastic attributes of a world-class midfielder, he's got a £40 million release clause. Would West Ham want to spend that? Would David Moyes want to spend that? I don't think so, but hey, you never know. If we want to sign some world-class players to West Ham, it could really be a cornerstone point for the team. Unai Vencedor is one player that should be looked into if you want to take things in that regard. But a £40 million release clause? I'm sorry to be a Debbie Downer in one of these videos, but I can't see Moyes wanting to spend that.